Hi, sixth grade. Um, you guys are working on statistics now, and we got to a skill that's about estimation. And every time we get to a skill about estimation, I find that we get a little bit stuck because it takes a little bit of instinct and not just procedure. So I wanted to talk through today some of the steps that I go through in my mind when I get to a problem like this so you guys can have a little bit more help than you might be able to get from the videos you already have. So let's look at this first one. It says, Ms. Munoz has students in three different class periods write essays for a diagnostic test. The following dot plots show the scores from each class. Each dot represents a different student's score. So in our directions here, it wants us to order the class periods from least to greatest typical score. And in these, it talks a lot about typical Typical is not really a mathematical term. Um, when we talk about mean and median and mode later this week, it'll make a little bit more sense. But for now, typical just means about average. Um, not mathematically average, just where you think the middle falls. So let's look at the first graph first. If I looked at this graph right here, this first one, and I looked for the middle, I would be able to say that the middle probably wasn't four or five and it probably wasn't one, but it might be kind of hard to tell if it was between two or three. Well, looking at this, I think it probably falls somewhere between, but I think there are a few more dots on the three side of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a rough estimate of about three. That doesn't mean that the center is three. It just means that looking at it, that's about what it looks like to me. Um, it's definitely not the high side of three. The two is pretty strong too. So maybe it's three, maybe a little lower. We're not looking for specific answers here necessarily. We're trying to put them in order. So let's look at the second one. In our second one, I'd feel confident crossing off one and two and probably five. They're not really in the middle. They don't really have the most kids. Um, and it looks like we fall into a similar case here. But here, the middle, it looks like it's somewhere between three and four. Once again, I think it probably falls closer to the three side. It looks like there's more dots in three. It looks like there's more dots on that side. Um, so I'd say this one is probably three as well, but maybe a little bit higher. You see how on this one, the dots were between two and three, and this one we're trying to decide between three and four. So I'm going to write three plus here. If I had to decide where there were more, um, the scores were higher, I would say that the scores were probably likely to be higher on this one where the students scored mostly threes and fours versus on this one where they scored mostly twos and threes. And then the last one, it looks like this one. I am pretty confident just looking at this one that the typical score is a three. It's the tallest bar. It's like right in the middle. There's about the same number of dots on either side. So if I had to put these in order, oops, it doesn't want to scroll right now. That's interesting. This side, not this side, this first graph to me, let me erase some of this chaos. This first graph I said was a little under three. This one I said was a little over three. And this third one looked like it was three on the dot. So if I wanted to put them in order, I would say under three would come first, over three would come last, and three would be right in the middle. So as you work through these, I encourage you to count the dots on each side of what you think is the middle. If you find that something is really off balance, you may need to reevaluate and feel free to email me if you have questions. Have a great day.